What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to get to Lumio City, had a few battles here and there, you know, didn't really do a lot, except just to see the Lumio City, uh, Lumio City get back on its feet with the electricity, and now it is finally time for us to get to the gym to battle Clement for our, I believe, fourth badge? Fourth badge, yeah, it's our fourth badge. And here we are going through the hallways right here, the scary hallways of Rouge Plaza right here. I think you can actually find a, uh, I think you can actually find another Pokemon Center around here somewhere. I don't even know. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of this plaza right here, and we're gonna go straight down here. It doesn't matter from which entrance you'll actually find the Centrical Plaza, but you'll find it somewhere. And, well, we're gonna go straight to the Pokemon Gym, and, well, we can't see who that is. Hold on. I sure didn't see that coming. That gym is tough. Okay. So, here it is. The Lumio City Gym. As you probably already guessed it. Yes, it is an electric type gym. And you guys already know that I like myself, my electric gyms, because, I don't know, I like getting paralyzed. It's kind of like a fetish for me or something. Not really. Not really. I hate getting paralyzed, guys. It's annoying. It really is. So make sure to bring your ground-type Pokemon for this one right here. And, uh, well, I'm going to start off with Bonesaw right here because uh, electric-type moves don't really affect it. Don't really affect it very much. But we'll, we'll hopefully get get through this real quickly and stuff. So let's see and talk to this guy. What's cooking, good-looking? My future champ back for more. The Pokemon Gym here is Lumio, uh, the Lumio City is full up of electric type trainers and you can just feel the buzz, am I right? It's also known as, known as a quiz gym. You're looking at you're looking at a might quizzical friend. You want to know why it's called that? <laughs> you'll find out. You'll find the answers inside. Well, the quiz gym, I guess. I guess the quiz gym would be awesome. I don't know. But what he was saying, what he meant by this is that, yeah, we're gonna get quizzed. Ah, you're that trainer from before. Come straight for a battle, have you? Well, good. You can call me Bonnie. I am the gym leader's younger sister. Go ahead and step onto the small square. A few steps directly ahead of you, would you? You will have to answer my questions if you want to get further ahead. Oh, God. Here we go. Let's do this. Maximum effort. Quiz time. Oh, look at that. It's a Pikachu. Hmm. Who's that Pokemon? Well, go talk to the trainer. Who's the same number as that right answer? Alrighty. Well, we're going to go straight for that Pikachu right there. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Have you chosen Pikachu? Yes. Let's have a Pokemon battle before you compare answers. Now, it doesn't really matter if you answer the, the, the quiz right or wrong. You still have to battle the trainer. Uh, if you guys want to go for more experience points, battle all the trainers, get the wrong the, the wrong answers on purposely. Uh, but since you know in this game right here, you'll be able to just breeze through it just because. Oh crap! Baskets forgot this guy's a, in a uh, is a fairy type Pokemon. Ah uh, crap! Baskets. Yeah, did Dinny. Okay, luckily I do have a strength attack right here, and this guy's special attack is gonna keep on increasing. And I am not liking this. Good God. Okay, here we go. Strength attack. Nearly does its thing. I'm not going to risk it. I have to switch out my Pokemon. Let's go to Fluff Bolt. Okay. Alrighty. Fluff Bolt. You can take this sack, right? Here comes another Bolt. There's another Cherry Beam right there. And yes, not so not so tough right now. So let's go again. Let's take it. Let's take it down with a try or a takedown or a takedown or a takedown or whatever. But yes, uh, it doesn't really matter if you battle any of the trainers here. You just have to get the right answers just to get to the gym leader. And this Dedanny right here is getting me all worked up because I completely forgot this guy was a freaking fairy type Pokemon. So god dang annoyed. Here we go. Takedown doesn't do a thing. All right, it's asleep. I'm going to take advantage of this. Let's go, Godzilla. Let's do this. We should have started with Godzilla uh, in the first place. Okay, here we go, Godzilla. Still nothing. Alrighty. And, wow, Snore Attack. That's a first. Alright, Bulldoze. Let's finish this guy off. 
That's right. Ground type Pokemon will do the trick right here, guys. Unfortunately, I don't have a ground type Pokemon. And look at that. Level 45. I'm feeling good. Great. Everybody is getting experience points, including Kakashi, Hitake, and its learning substitute, which I will not use because it's not really my thing right now. So here we go. We defeated Finian. And we're going to be moving on quickly. Then stepped into the elevator. All right, move. Okay, let's see. Two, three, four, and... We got it right. That's right. We knew what Pikachu was. It's the easiest Pokemon to notice. Look at that. Pikachu. Pikachu. Again. Sorry for replacing Olia. Ding, ding, ding. You're correct. Well, aren't you the clever one? We are clever. Okay, so here's the next one. And before we do anything, let's heal up our Pokemon. And hopefully we don't... Uh... Yeah, we don't, have, uh, we don't have to mistake, and actually, let's not waste a full restore right here. Let's go ahead and use Hyper Potions, which we bought. We bought a whole bunch of them. And let's go to Fluff Vault right here. And, well, let's go right onto this box and see what she has to say. Quiz time! Oh, look, it's a Fletchling. Who's that Pokemon? Well, let's go to the number one. Talk to the trainer with the right answer. Let's go straight here. Bird Pokemon, hmm? Their silhouettes sure do come out in all kinds of different shapes. But do you think it's a fletchling, do you? Yes, I do. Let's go. Okay. But this is this is still a Pokemon gym. It wouldn't seem right if you didn't fight. This is kind of true. This is very, very true. So here we go. Going up against Rising Star Estelle, and she will be coming with a Raichu. And there goes my phone again. Good gravy. And, well... Yeah. We're kind of under level with Bonesaw, but still, still we're going to we're gonna take this uh, take this Pokemon on real quickly. And, of course, we still have the Rocky Helmet on us. So go ahead and physically attack us, because we will hit you harder. And... Oh, crud. And here we go. Dragon Claw for the win. Let's go, Bonesaw. Look at that. Look at that. And we defeated the Rising Star Estelle. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so let's step inside to number one right here. And... Let's see. Come on. Let's go. Yes. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Oh, God. I'm getting my phone. That's all. Uh, it's a fledgling. Uh. Sorry about that, guys. And ding, 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 you correct? Well, aren't you the clever one? Yes, I am very, very clever. Um, let's go, let's go. Alrighty, so let's see what we got. Let's step inside right here. It's always number three that gets me all confused and all that stuff. Alright, let's see. Quiz time! Oh, crap. It's the monkey one. Who's that Pokemon? Okay, hold on just a sec. Let's go right ahead and cheat on onto a Bulbapedia right here. Okay, let's decide. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, elemental. Damn it. L le mental monkeys. All right, here we go. Okay, so here it is. Um, oh, that's a... Okay, let's try this again. That's Pampor, I think. Yes, it is. It's Pampor. Uh, let's see. No. Okay, so that's the wrong one. Pampor. Yes, it is Pampor. You're ready to take responsibility for your own choices? Are you? Yes, I am. Let's go. Let's do this. Bring it. So here we go, Ace Trainer Rico. His name is Rico. <laughs> Let's go. Look at this. Ace Trainer Rico coming out with his very own Ampros. And, well, let's see. We're probably going to be the faster of the two. So let's go with uh, Dragon Claw. Look at that. And it takes a lot. But here comes that Confuse Ray, which I kind of don't like. Oh, my God. So, let's see. What are we doing? What are we doing? Let's get this Dragon Claw. Come on. Damn it. Oh, God, and we get hit hard, and here comes a power gem. Definitely not our... Oh, crap, baskets. 
<sighs> God. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go with Godzilla because yeah, if this guy has a, if this guy has a, ro a rock jam, let's go with the bulldoze since we're gonna be faster. Look at this. Bam. Suck it, Ampros. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that. And uh, getting more points. And Gaia number two, three. I think two or three. I don't even know. Shoot. Grabs more experience points. Levels up. And, well, let's go ahead and uh, get inside right here. Look at that. Three, four, and bam. We, yes, got the correct one. Alrighty. So that was Pampor. I always get those those three mixed up and stuff. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and revive Bone Saw. Kind of do want to do want to evolve this guy right here, but it's kind of hard when uh, it's kind of hard when all these Pokemon are like a level thirty something and all that crud. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. And actually, wrong one, right here. And hold on, just a sec. Let's go with an HP up. Let's give that to Bone Saw right there, and let's continue on. This is this is the one that always gets me too. All right, let's see what this one's all about. That's a Butterfree. Okay. That's a Vivillian, I think. I think I don't know. A Motham probably, and that's that's a Motham. That's a Motham. Vivillian's number two. Vivillian's number two. Okay, so I've seen that Pokemon right uh, enough just to just to see it's well just to just to know which one it is. So let's go ahead and grab this and pick this guy. Let's see if we're right. It doesn't matter if we battle them or not. Eventually, they'll tell us. So, here we go. Going up against Lighty. And she will be coming out with a Plusle. Ah, yeah, crud. Plusle, you a-hole. Alright, let's go right ahead and use a Dragon Claw right here. Come on. Get your Pokemon. And it nearly takes out this Plusle. So, let's try it one more time. And here comes that Super Potion. And, well, let's go Dragon Claw. And there goes Plusle. Yes, sir. Look at that. Look at that. Nearly grows to level 37. Fluff Volt, level 34. And I'm good. I'm good right here. Let's see if that's the right answer right now. All right, step into the elevator. All right. Let's see. Two, three. Come on. Let it be right. I was right. That was an educated guess. Yes, sir. That was it. And because of that, we actually get to go into the final round, which will be against Clement right here. And, well, before we do anything... Huh. Ah, we got a good team. We'll be fine. We will be fine. Okay, so going up against the next gym leader right here, Clement... He's facing us. Oh, thank you for uh, thank you again for coming. Allow me to introduce myself. Hold on. This is the gym leader of the Lumio City, Clement. You better watch out. My brother's strong. As strong as you'd expect the Lumio City gym leader to, to be. Got it? Oh, damn. Look at that. Bonnie, how many times do I have to remind you? It's not my own strength that matters, nor any other trainers. None of us would be here if it weren't for our Pokemon. I know, I know. Anyway... I hope you two have an awesome battle. Okay. She's right about that, at least. Let's both do our best in our battle. Oh, look at that. Oh, shoot. He's coming out with his, uh, his doodads right there. Okay, so here we are, going up against the gym leader, Clement. And he will be coming out with Emolga right here. And crap. Emolga. One of my worst enemies. Yeah. My worst enemy, Emolga, it always gives me crap just because it's a flying and electric type Pokemon and it does stuff like this. Look at that. Aerial Ace. So what I'm going to do right now is give myself a boost. That's right. Let's go, Bonesaw. Time to destroy everybody. Alright, here we go. Dragon Claw. We're still not fast enough. Crap baskets on the crap of stick. Damn it! Here we go. You're getting hurt by that Rocky Helmet. So here we go again and say goodbye to Emolga. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Look at that. And we grow to level 37. Please let this be the one where we just evolve. And, well, he's coming out with a Magneton. Magneton. Alright. Time to move on right here. Let's go with Godzilla. Godzilla. Alrighty. 
Let's go with Godzilla and Magneton. Of course, still a Steel type Pokemon. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go with the Flame Burst. Let's go. Look at that. And of course, it still has Sturdy, so it's not going to do anything. And what does that do? Oh, look at that. It changes the electric field right here. Oh my god. Okay, so let's go with the Flame Burst. Come on, and of course he's going to be healing up his Pokemon because he's a good gym leader, right? Here we go, Flame Burst for the win. Say good. Oh, wow. Come on, Magneton. Just die already. All right, one more time. And Clement, you asshole, you. Oh, my God. Bet you anything you don't have more than three. There we go. And of course you're going to have Sturdy every freaking time. So time to die. Eat this Flame Burst for the win. Told you you didn't have more than three. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so he's going to be coming out with a Heliolisk. I got the Pokemon for this guy. That's right. Let's go with Super Saiyan Goku. Alrighty. Goku, it's been a while. First gym battle ever. And he'll be coming out with a Heliolisk. Now remember, Heliolisk is, is both a normal and electric type Pokemon. So... It's only appropriate if we just go Super Saiyan and go Power Up Punch. Let's go Mega Evolution. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, yeah. He wasn't ready for this one. He wasn't ready. Look at this. He wasn't ready. So, let's go with that Power Up Punch. Bam! Super effective. Yeah. <laughs> And Goku grows to level 41. Eat it. And look at that. Godzilla, level 46. My Pokemon are strong as heck. And this guy's like, your passion for battle inspires me. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Well, my, my brother lost? Oh, Bonnie. When will, you learn, uh, when will you learn that there's no shame in losing? I'm glad whenever I get to learn something new, thanks to strong challenges like this boy right here. Now... To the victor that goes to spoils. This voltage badge belongs to you. Bam, look at that. The voltage badge. It's pretty cool. It's very awesome. Let's get this stuff. So, if you have the voltage badge, you will be seen as a friend to e and equal by any Pokemon up to level 70. And here, take this TM as well. Oh, I know. I know this one. It's the TM24. That's Thunderbolt. That has a power of 90 and an accuracy of 100%. It will never miss. It's a popular electric type move because of that. Look at that, guys. We got an even better move right now. So, that's awesome. Ah, oh, Barney, you. The future is now, thanks to science. They call the technical machine that gives technical machines. I just want, wanted to be able to say it, okay? At least once. Look, I'm not... It's not like I'm not trying to make myself stronger or... All I'm trying to do is enjoy every day to do the, my, to the fullest with my Pokemon while doing the science I love with inventing. Okay, alrighty. Okay, alrighty, so that's pretty much it right there, guys. Well, let's go to the first floor, go back home, and uh, move on with our adventure right here because, yeah, we got another badge. Yeah, buddy. For beating the gym leader the way you did, we've, got, we've gone ahead and carved your name into the mysterious looking statues. You know, I've never checked them. I really haven't. So let's see what they say. And certified trainers, a Draven. That's right. The man, the myth, the legend. And after defeating the gym leader, you will get a hollow clip. And it's Professor Sycamore. He's like, hello there. I wanted to talk to you for a little bit. Could you come to Lissandre Cafe? Do you know where that is? Yes. You can see it from the outside the Pokemon Center right by Prism Tower. It's the Red Cafe. Just hop into the taxi if you can't find it by see Be seeing you soon. This is true. This is very, very true. Okay, so let's see. He's not kidding. Might as well find a taxi because I am not going to spend like 20 minutes trying to find that thing. So look at that. There's a taxi right there. And well, let's see. Where would you take me? Let's go to facilities. And let's go another place. Uh, let's see. Cafe. Oh, cafes. Here we go. 
Lissandre Cafe. Where are you? There we are. Okay. Yeah, I feel like there's some cafe in the, like near the Magenta, Magenta Plaza, huh? That's where you go. You want to go, right? Yes. All right, let's go. And there we go. And you know what bugs me is that it doesn't show the graphic for us just getting there. And, well, I'm going to be embarrassed if it was just like right a few steps away from me. So here we are in the Magenta Cafe or Lissandra Cafe. And you will find both Lissandra and Professor Sycamore over here. I was just having a conversation with Lissandra about Mega Evolution. I would like to congratulate you as well. Mega Evolution is something I, too, would like to be able to use. It, actually, Lissandra himself is of royal ancestry. He truly is a chosen one. True, I'm a descendant of the king's younger brother. That being said, that story is 3,000 years old, so it might not be entirely, entirely reliable. By the way, Draven, do you know where the Holocaust is made? No. Oh, really? Well, they just happened to be made into the Sandri's uh, lab. The Sandri is a great man. He supports trainers and Pokemon research with some of the profit from the Holocaster. People can be divided into two groups. Those who give and those who take. It's just as how Kalos Region 2 legendary Pokemon gave life and took life. I want to be the kind of person who gives. But in this world, some foolish humans exist who would show their strength by taking what isn't theirs. Their filth. Oh, wow. Long, long ago, the king of Kalos sought to take everything for his own. And he created a terrible weapon. Then the fire of destruction was unleashed. That is, the legend of that has been passed down. Kalos is a beautiful right now. There will be no foolish actions if the number of people in Pokemon do not increase. That being said, the future isn't decided. You can't be sure each day will be like the, the one before. What the King of Kalos did was reprehensible, but the ultimate weapon did, the ultimate weapon did manage to wash the world clean of the, the era, that era's filth. Oh damn. And he's giving us a King's Rock, which is cool. And... Well... <sighs> Thank you for listening. Take that as an apology for taking up your time. I will see you later. That guy is, uh, he, he's weird. He's a weird guy. What a passionate person. He's just like a blazing flame. Perhaps his, uh, his pride and lineage is what makes him burn intensely. That being said, what Lissandra says is only one way of looking at things. It's not entirely the truth. Draven! What's, Im what's truly important is the time that's spent together with others. Treasures like these moments spent traveling the Kalos region with your Pokemon. That is true. Okay. Alrighty, so I'm gonna step outside and I'm just gonna go and be on my way. Now, we get another Hall Equip right here. And would you look at that? It's Trevor, I think. That's what it. Yeah, it's Trevor. Hello! How have you been? I just wanted to let you know that we're all going to meet at Route 14. Please come and join us. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. So, that is pretty much it right there, guys. I am uh, going to the northernmost region of this place right here. Again, not a lot of stuff that we can actually find except for areas that, you know, shopping centers and all that stuff. So, yes, we are in the northernmost region right here. And in our next episode, we're going to be going through a forest with a lot of rain and a lot of Pokemon trainers. So just be aware of that one right there, guys. It's going to be fun. It's going to be very, very fun. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.